Oh, hey everyone, you caught me playing Farm Sim, so we have a busy day. Austin called, said he wants to come over and talk about buying, purchasing a truck. So we got that to do. I'd like to also get, try to get the 5088 that we found that's broken down into their garage. Called a few garages and I think one will be able to take it. So let's get to it. So I finally got all the wheat harvested, so that is a big weight off my shoulders. Now I, I need to figure out also what to do about this grass around this house. I really like to mow it down. I have plans to put in some possibly some buildings, been talking to some contractors. I have a lot of big ideas, just don't know exactly what do but I know one thing I would like to get the crop of grass harvested off of it so hopefully I can sell that and then I'll be able to bale that and sell the bales and then we you start clearing land for some buildings we need to wash off our big old beast harvester here so we finally got done with it also, we need to wash off our brand new 4960, new to us, at least. Hose just isn't quite long enough there. This reel has been repaired, cost us 20 grand, but at least that's done with. Don't know, I'm also considering possibly doing some custom harvesting. Uh, I don't know. Right now, the soybeans and corn harvest is just starting, but I'm going to look into doing some of that. So we still got a lot of busy work to do. Figured I'd wash these while I'm waiting for uh, Austin to come over here. Looks like Austin Farmer is pulling up right here. So, looks like he got himself a new truck. Hey, sir. Hey, man. How's it going? Good. How are you? Long time no see. Oh, very good. Yeah, it's been a while. How you been? Oh, pretty good. Got a nice little farm here. Got a lot of equipment. For you. you need to expand. Yeah, that's uh, one of the things I plan on doing is doing some expansion. I was kind of trying to wait until the winter time so I would get my crops off and I have a, so busy I can't even uh break ground right now yeah it's it's crazy I heard you guys so, uh, uh bought a big ranch yeah yeah we did we did how's that going uh we're just setting up right now and I was just looking for some equipment for it so I I heard you had some yep what did you want to look at Oh, I'm looking at that nice old flat, international flatbed over there. Oh, yeah. So, this is a good old 1970 F-1800 uh, tandem axle flatbed. The tires, Man, this is nice. Tires are brand new on it. Uh, it has been a 100-point safety inspection done. The engine has been recently overhauled, uh, and it's been slightly, uh, let's say, remodeled. So original paint just kept indoors. So pretty good interior. Yeah, looks. You mind if I hop in it and yep. take a look? Sure. Right. Start it up. Oh man, this is nice. Yep. Sounds great too. Yep. So, uh, how much are you thinking? So I'm thinking uh, 15k for it. Hmm, 15k. Hmm, it is a nice truck, dude. Yeah. It is really nice. I have to say I've used it many times since uh, I moved here. So. Yeah. Yeah. You sure, you sure you wouldn't miss it? <laughs> uh, I mean, I need to sell, so I need to, like I, you were saying, I need to expand, so I need some cash. Oh yeah. 
Hmm. You know what, man? This honestly, it looks so good. I'm not even gonna try to. I'm not even gonna try to counter your offer, dude. I, I think I'll take it. All right. So, uh, I was hoping to ask you a favor, though. Yeah. What What do you need? I heard that you just purchased a swather. Yeah, mower, but yeah. Uh, I was wondering if I could uh, possibly borrow that for the day because you can see I have this almost waist high grass around here. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Sweet. Uh, yeah. Is that where is that at? That is uh, where where is that? That's right by Moore Co-op. It's right at the the dealership there. All right. Uh, I was yeah. Also, I was wondering if I can get some uh, intel. Do you know anybody getting rid of some of their hay equipment? Local farmer around here. I'm interested in getting a rake and a baler, possibly. Rake and a baler. Uh, hmm. I can't remember anyone offhand. Uh, unless. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, you know this guy up by uh, Hill Hillside Potatoes? Uh, yeah. Let me pull up my map yeah, on my phone. It, it, yeah, I'm I'm just looking at my map right now. All right, we'll look at this uh, Hillside Potatoes. I, think, I I don't know. I just know he's around there. Okay. I don't know 100 percent where he is, but I I heard he has some. All right. Well, thanks for the yeah. intel. Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. You want to go sign the papers and write the check for this, and you can drive it off today if you want. Yeah, yeah, sure. I don't. Well, I might have to move uh, the beast harvester. Beast yeah, that's huge, you, but, man. But otherwise, I think you can just drive it right out. All right. Uh, what's the what's the story on this uh, on this truck? So I'm not hundred percent sure so this is not American so yeah somehow this made it over here but this thing is a tank and a half so and it, it sure looks like it so this is one of the trucks that my uncle purchased and it it could go anywhere you see the tires oh, it's all six-wheel drive so pretty hard to get this thing stuck Mm-hmm. Well, I'm thinking this would be perfect for silage. Oh, yeah. Especially if it's a little wet in the field. You can have no problem yeah. there. And it has I know. A... And you could even tow a trailer Yep. behind it, honestly. And it has hookups. Man. I might have to talk to Jake about this one. All right. Yeah. See what he thinks. But I think it would be perfect. I'm, I might bring him down here when he's around one of these days. And, uh show them it yep it's pretty yeah. much you can't be uh if it's still on the road now you know it's basically gonna last forever because that thing's oh that's for sure yeah if it if it hasn't quit now it has it won't quit now or if it hasn't quit now it will get quit later <laughs> yep. yep you mind if i jump in it take a look at the interior yeah, you can start it up oh man the interior is actually really meant for this thing wow so it has a. Uh, military uh, axles and military oh, okay. uh, rims on it so yeah I'll, you mind if I start it up yeah you can dude second turn yeah. right up it's awesome well I'll bring D Jake down here and uh, show him it before I, I decide anything here all right sounds good let's go uh, do the paperwork yeah all right so yeah. here's your title Okay. And here's uh, so everything I sell has a uh, three month warranty on it. Things okay. It's used. And just sign here. Okay. And here. Yep. And there's your keys. Now all, all I right. need is a check. Yeah, I'll transfer you right now. Okay. There you go. All right. Good doing business with you. Yeah, for sure. I hope to do some more because you got some nice stuff here. All right. Well, and... I'll I'll uh, come get my truck here eventually if that's okay. Yep. 
Huh? But I'll probably end up taking this uh this big truck over here back. Okay. And I'll do you want me to just move my Ford out of the way? Yeah, it's no problem where it's at. Uh, uh, can you I'll, get out? Uh, uh, you might be able to get out. I might be able to, but I'll need to move my Ford for sure. Yep. All right, I'll move it. See you later. See ya. All right, so we hooked up to our gooseneck. I'm going to try to put this uh, 5088 on there. Gonna have to use the winch. Crank this bad girl up. But probably should have told Austin not to park in front of it, but it's all right. We'll just uh, have to winch it a little bit. So we finally got it winched up there. Like I said in the past, I don't want to show that because I uh, broke a few OSHA regulations right there. I shouldn't be showing that, but oh well. It's on there now and no one got hurt. So we're headed off here. I'm gonna take this to the local garage and hopefully he can uh, help us out. So we're just pulling by uh, Casey's. Uh, kind of, we're not pulling by Casey's. We're stopping at Casey's. I'm addicted to their coffee. I know. I know. I know. Mmm. This day is so much better with hot coffee. Let's get to the garage. Had to look out my rearview mirror just to make sure I wasn't going to hit that overhang there. That would be a dirt moment. So I believe this is my turn. Not a hundred percent. Hope so because I really don't want to back this down the street again if we can't turn around. Oh, there, yep. Mike's garage there. Where we want to be. So get this unloaded. Probably should go talk to a uh, Mike first. Alright, so he said he would uh, basically call us once he figures out what's wrong. Like I said, I'm pretty sure we have a bad transmission and a cracked head, so this might be a little cost costly for us, but I'd like to see my uncle's tractor up and running again. So you guys will have to let me know, do you want me to look into possibly selling this after I fix it or keeping it around the farm. May just take the duels off it and use it as a uh, for hay tractor. Don't have, don't know yet. We will see. So now I want to go pick up uh, Jake's and Austin's uh, swather. So we'll go pick that up. So we're pulling into the dealership now. Swather should be here somewhere. Oh, there it is. So we'll go make sure. Austin said he called to make sure that they'll allow us to take this. Alright, got the keys. Probably need to move. The truck over. To a better spot. Looks like Austin Farmer is going by the road right there. Uh oh. Hopefully this fits on this trailer. Uh oh. I was not expecting this. I forgot how wide the wheelbase are on these self-propelled swathers. Oh, uh, we're gonna have to bring the semi down. Oh, so it's the next day here. So I need to get an early start. So I, I called the family, the Johnsons, that have the hain equipment that uh, Austin cued me in on. And uh, they want me to come over there and talk before they have to go to work. So we're going to head over there quickly drive the gator because we left the 
our truck hooked to the trailer down here by the dealership last night. I really need to get all my stuff put away, cleaned up. Gonna have to do that pretty soon. So busy lately. Let's get in this truck so we have time to stop at Casey's. We're pulling on the road here. Told the Johnsons I'd try to be there by 7.30, so we're trying to beat that. So I still think I have the time to stop at Casey's and get some coffee. So we'll run in here quickly and get us some hot coffee. All right, got the coffee. Now let's find this place. Pulling out here. Still a little dark out. Still need to pick up that swather, so we're going to have to get a our truck trailer over here and pick it up so we can start swathing. Got a lot of haying to do. Oh, I almost passed our turn there. Head up the road. I think we still got some time left, so we should get there before 7.30. We're just pulling in here. It looks like a little uh, small town, a few houses. So I think the Johnson should be right here. Look at that, made it in time. All right, so we struck a deal. 30k for all this we got a this is a used new holland so the blades and everything look really good looks like the back crumpers are all looking good so he said the knotter have recently been overhauled on this uh hay liner new holland little square baler so everything is basically been looked at so looks like a good little square baler for us also got a 568 john deere six foot round baler so this is a wrap baler coverage so i think we got a great deal this round baler alone might be worth 30k and we got one of the biggest rakes around here not sure haven't seen this rake around much so yes it is oversized that's for sure so uh, definitely not gonna fit everything on maybe we could fit somehow get all the swather or the disc bind and the balers on our flatbed and we will probably have to come back and get our uh, the rake we finally got these hooked up or put on the trailer let me tell you that was not easy not easy task whatsoever but they're on there now so we will start heading home very very carefully Just turning into our turn here to our farm it's like we're gonna have to make another trip go pick up the rest of the bailing equipment we're pulling this big old rake down the road feels good to be pulling our last piece of equipment Feels like I've been running down there back and forth, back and forth. Finally pulling in to our last turn. 
pulling this rake didn't pull too bad even though it's extra long looks like Jake's uh, soybeans over here are ready to harvest it's gonna have to get to harvesting them feel bad for him because he's got to do his all his harvest with his 8820 that's gonna take a while all right so we just got back with all of our haying equipment here so that was a long journey let me tell you big break everything made it pretty well now we just have to inspect it grease it and start utilizing it so looks like all the knives on this thing have been replaced recently so not much work we have to do other than greasing the disc spine uh, we just got to put some bale wrap into the 568 and looks like we have a few hay pickup tines to pick up to uh, I mean uh, to repair but to replace but other than that that's good looks like a few of them are missing off of the little square bale or two so I'm hoping to be able to bale all this grass here so we got plans we're gonna start clearing some of that out to put facilities and the reason why I want to put facilities is look at this mess in here so we have acquired equipment a lot of equipment we still need to acquire more we need a disc we need a chisel we need a planter we need a sprayer there is a lot on the list and this lot is basically full we did sell one truck but still it is pretty full so we need to get a new area I like to build a farmyard so it'd keep the dealership and the farmyard separate it's one of the first things on the agenda I would just like to get the hay crop off first thank you all for watching and I will see you later here in Iowa thank you all for watching like comment and share and subscribe see you next time